Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So tonight I'm going to do a tutorial on creating a duotone image or a tritone or a quadtone image. It's kind of a similar thing. Um, but it's pretty simple and this will probably only be a pretty short tutorial. So, okay, to start off with, we need to convert the image to grayscale. So you go image, mode, and then grayscale. Uh, the only problem with this is is that you need to flatten your image first. So just make sure that you've got the image saved as a PSD if you need to keep some of the layers there or um, you're just kind of experimenting but you want to keep the original uh, layers. So just make sure it's saved as a PSD and then you can always go back to it later. So after you've flattened your image, you can go image mode grayscale. And it'll ask, do you want to discard the color information? And you just say discard. Okay, so the next step is to go image, mode, duotone. So it's pretty simple. And here it will come up with a pop-up window. And you've got a few choices. So you can actually just do a monotone image if you like. So that's just one color. And basically you just click on the box here and choose your color. So that's pretty much all you have to do for that. Uh, but today we're just going to focus on doing duotone. As I said, there's also tritone options and quadtone. So you can use three colors, but we'll just stick to duotone. So with the colors, so I'm just going to click on this box again. You can actually choose the color yourself, whatever color you like, or you can go to the color libraries. So this button here, and you've got all the Pantone colors. So there's a pretty big library here of colors. They're really nice colors, actually. So I would definitely recommend choosing uh, one of the Pantone colors if possible. So that's how you choose your colors. Um, basically, these colors, whether you do a duotone, uh, tritone, or a quadtone, they'll generally go, I, I like to choose colors from darkest to lightest. So as you can see, this color here is really focusing on the shadowed areas. Um, so I like to choose something a little bit darker that's not going to look too light or um, too bright for that area. So I think I'm just going to choose like a dark purple. And for the second color, I think I might choose... Hmm, I might choose like a really pale blue. Even paler than that. So I just kind of like scroll through... So maybe that one, or even, if we choose this one, and then we can go to the picker, and make it even lighter. Alright. So as well, what you have to remember is, when you are choosing the colour with the picker, you'll need to copy and paste this code. So copy, just in this box here, because Everything needs to have a numbering system or it needs to have the name of the colors basically just in these boxes before it can actually um, do the duotone. So uh, I think I'm just going to leave it at that for a minute and I'm just going to choose a different color just so we can get something a little bit more interesting happening. I think maybe just something a little bit lighter so we can see the color more. So a little bit darker. Something around there would be good. And then we just press OK. And that's basically our duotone image. So I'm just going to take a snapshot and show you what it looked like before. So that's the before and that's the after. I generally like to do most of my adjustments before I do the duotone colouring. Uh, but you can do them afterwards just using adjustment layers. So I'm just going to adjust the levels a little bit and maybe just get the curves adjustment layer up. And this will be flipped now that it's been made into a grayscale image. So you'll have to drag the line down to get more highlights and up to get more of a shadowy effect. Okay, and just one more pointer. If you do wanna save this as a JPEG image and you do wanna finish the image and flatten it and all the rest of it, so you'll need to change the mode to RGB color because otherwise it'll only let you save it as a PSD file uh, if you've still got the mode as duotone. So just remember that to change it to RGB color if you want it to be saved as a JPEG. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. I don't usually use duotone uh, all the time on my images. I, that's just 
generally because I like to use a lot of um, solid colors and lots of adjustment layers and experiment that way but it is nice for a different effect so yeah you can always use that as well in conjunction with adjustment layers or just on its own all right guys thank you so much for watching uh, I will hopefully have some more videos up soon I know I've been really slack with uploading over the last week or so but hopefully we'll get some more tutorials done soon. And if you have any requests, please let me know as always. And yeah, thank you very much for watching again and I'll see you next time. Bye.